I think we have plenty, right? I'm gonna give you guys one of the most easy recipes you can find on making ribs. This is gonna fill you up and gonna make you happy. It's been a rough year and honestly, I think we're all just a little bit tired of all the things that we had to go through and everybody had some loss in some form or way. And, well, I'm gonna make something today to lift the spirits that, that really warms your spirit and your soul. And at the same time, it's super easy to make so you won't get tired doing it. It's just gonna be easy and it's just gonna taste good. We are making ribs. Look at these beauties. Baby back ribs. Absolutely perfect. These are the leftovers. When they take off the loin, it comes off. It's on this part. And this is, well, waste. But you and I know better than that. This is better than the loin. We rather have ribs than loin. But let me show you how we're gonna cook them. Because we're not just doing them. The old fashioned way, we're gonna make it super easy and we're gonna do it cowboy style. We're gonna have chuck wagons rolling through cowboys and Indians. Oh, yeah. We're gonna be Kent Rowland. Do you know Kent Rowland? Oh yeah. He's awesome. Check Kent Rowland out. I'm gonna get wow. these beautiful ribs out of the way and I'm going to slice a couple of onions. Around five or six will do. Then I'm taking the silver skin off the back of our ribs and sprinkle rub all over the ribs. And I'm using all kinds of ribs through each other, and it doesn't really matter, just use what you got in your pantry. Because this is the perfect occasion to use up all of those leftovers. There's a good reason that we sliced up all of these onions, because they are the protection for the meat. So we gotta put these in one by one. But first we're gonna put some pork fat on the inside of our pan. This is not to season our pan, this is just to Grease it up, it's like a baking tray. Grease it up. Make sure nothing sticks to it. Make sure that it's nice and greasy. And what better to use than pork fat? It's the perfect addition for this recipe. Look, almost all white. Now I'm gonna put our onion in and I just wanna stack it up against the sides and we just need a little bit of distance between the wall and our meat because otherwise, these ribs might burn on the outside. Once you build up that shield of onion protecting the ribs, we're gonna start filling this thing up with all kinds of goodness. Half a liter of ketchup, 100 gram of homemade bacon, 100 milliliters of maple syrup, 50 milliliters of apple cider vinegar, 100 milliliters of bourbon, and a tablespoon of Worcester sauce. And then we're going to top it off with 600 grams of beans. You can use any beans you like as long as they are ready to be cooked. Now close the lid and fire up the barbecue. Build up a small fire from our big block charcoal together with that fire starter and then added some of that embers from the fire. Give it a little air and man, look at the fire. It's nice and warm, but it's not too hot because we want a slow simmer. I'm gonna put in the spider from our divide and conquer system. Put the Dutch oven on top. And close the lid. Now, we're going to let this sit in here maybe four to five hours. I don't have to do anything. It's just going to do everything by itself. I'm keeping the temperature in check at around 140, 150 degrees.
This is literally too easy. And it didn't even take four to five hours. It's, it took three hours. And it's like, you could even cook this Morrison. And if Morrison can cook it, you can cook it. It's too easy. There's something about the color that just makes you happy. It's just, it screams uh, comfort food. That's what this is, comfort food. Mm. Oh, it, I, I, it just falls apart. Grabbing ribs with your hands was never that easy. It invites you to, to get more. I think we have plenty, right? We have plenty. I was hoping to get some bacon, but the bacon's in there, I know it. I just gotta go and find it, wow. This is fantastic. And look at these ribs, man. Just look at them. Look at this. It's completely different than, than when you normally would eat ribs, but it's a whole different kind of good. Like a grandma kind of good. We shouldn't, we shouldn't have told them this. Because now you don't have to watch the more uh, difficult YouTube videos anymore. There's no secret to it. It's just too easy. When you're going for, for grilled ribs, smoked ribs with a bark, it's not like this. This is different. This is for a winter night. This is for, for the harsh winters in the Netherlands when everything freezes off. No, you gotta think cowboys, prairies, mm. chuck wagons. Mm. In the desert it gets cold in the winter. Mm. Mm. When it's cold in the desert. This is, yeah, this is something that keeps you warm. Roel, are you doing close-ups? Oh. Mm, we gotta have some close-up. Well, we, uh, we got a problem. Construction work is almost finished. Yeah, they can't know about this. We can't tell them. We only got three racks left. I think we just need to eat it all. Now, quickly, just eat it. How's it do? Uh oh, busted. Okay, my little girl, she needs to do the taste test. She was doing road work, actually. That's why you hear all the noise from the excavators. And she, she's been paving, she's making pavement with the road workers, so. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Good. Better than lekker. 10? Yes. See? 10 plus. Daddy made it. Do you like daddy? Yes. Oh. <laughs> On that note, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, if you did, then leave us a big thumbs up and comment down below. A big thank you to our patrons and the YouTube members. See you guys next time. Until then. Hey, Mark, do you watch the show? <laughs> oh, God. My children. My children. <laughs>